Does does clicking this button change things? This is so weird. All right. Um, in general, in Slay the Spire, I have been feeling increasingly like I want my whale bonus to just give me anything. I just want my whale bonus to make me stronger in some way. And none of these necessarily do that. Uh, I think that between transform a card and obtain a random rare, probably the relic is better. So I'm going to go for it. Okay, prayer whale makes me stronger really quickly. Cool. I think with Prayer Wheel, we are probably um, interested more in the Blade Dance types of Silent than the Poison types of Silent. I feel like Blade Dance does better with more commons, because Blade Dance is a common, mostly. Prayer Wheel basically guarantees that we will get a rushdown. You know, that's not how I would think about it, but... I thought about what achievements I would like to do in Slay the Spire 1, or Slay the Spire 2 arrives. Uh, I really feel like I've done all the things that I want to do in Slay the Spiral 1. I don't feel like there's any uncompleted thing for me. And so the 15 months of woke. Hey, it's Blade Dance. Blade Dance is literally the first card I'm offered. Okay, another thought though is we could go for the Eviscerate Acrobatics thing, actually. Well, let's take both. That seems okay. I think I can go to all hallway fights. They give me so many card rewards. I mentioned 10 wins in one day. I have thought about that. I mean, basically, for the last little while my approach to what achievement I want to do in Slay the Spire has just been what a thing is slightly more than what I've already done. There isn't really that much emotional drive for me to do more than I've already done, though. Like, whatever. This has been a great game. There are lots of other games in the world that I have not already played tons of. He's Charlo fan. I have a 15% discount code. I'm wearing mine right now. It is 7, 30, and 29 seconds. Oh, on the 11th. Getting offered an awful lot of sneaky strikes, but no acrobatics or dagger throws. A piercing whale going into the hard hallway fights, I guess. Backflip is conceptually a good card. I am not sure it's that great right now, though. I still need a bit more damage. I play Cobalt Core. I really enjoyed the demo for Cobalt Core. I did not play the full release. Probably own it. I have not actually played it though. We don't need these cards, do we? I think we're okay. I can play this and put it at 40, or I can not play it and not put it on 40. Probably play it. A bit too likely that next turn we get attacked for a bunch while we're frail and we want to split it. 
Nice bit of luck. That is a lot less luck. A well-laid plans and a terror? Seems good. Balance patch for Bellatro. Yeah, I looked at that. Uh, my sense on reading it was that the game was still Bellatro, though. <laughs> Maybe I should be nicer to Bellatro than I am. I don't know. Seeing you play Slay the Spire again is a trip. The last time we played Slay the Spire was like last week. I have, I have played like more than a hundred Slay the Spire runs this year. Y'all, y'all can't act like I don't play this game anymore. Another well laid plans? I don't think so. Anything that I need to help me with this elite fight, maybe? I wanna take damage in this fight. It'd be like quite a lot of damage. Probably Lego Villain, I think, is the best one. Would have been better if I drew terror, but okay. How will the fan base react if Ironclad is killed off with a golf club 20 minutes in? What was the movie that had Steven Seagal, but then Steven Seagal got killed? Like right at the start? Messed up shit in my opinion. Executive decision. I would have walked out. Uh, I think I want to play a strike. I'm taking seven damage to deal nine, but I think the math on that actually works here. Uh, it did work, yeah. Gave me lethal one turn faster. We got a bottled lightning, which I can, I guess, hit terror with. I think I backflip now. And upgrade the terror I just grabbed. Jam thanks for 57 months. This doesn't quite work. 12, 18, 24, 35. Nine. Nine. All 
Okay. Final answer is... I find it kind of weird that I'm choosing this one. Oh, well. Was that right? I don't know. It seems like it works, though. We didn't see any cultists in Slay the Spire 2. Hmm. Is it true? Hey, Boba face roll! Raven and things are 33 months. It's a dagger throw. Been looking for one of those. Also, an accuracy. Kinda down for both. I feel like my deck is fairly functional right now. Hunks and Rod seems great. Especially good on silent with access to intangible. Let's get a rust in. Oculus, thanks for the three months. Appreciate it. I'm down to remove a strike. Go prepare to accuracy card remove. I'm kind of. <laughs> I am not committing to dealing damage with Blade Dance or Eviscerate, is what's happening. I'm trying to deal damage with both of them. I'm not going to buy accuracy, I think. Let's buy prepared. Oh. Carry. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's awkward. Turns out it's okay. Uh, I don't think I need a fumes. Maybe I do take an accuracy I don't have to pay for? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't want an all-out attack. Haven't been offered that many uncommons. Upgrade well laid plans to guarantee runic pyramid. I think I'm just gonna upgrade prepared here. Oops, so Quintus. Do you love a carriage driving mini game? Advice for getting started as a strategy game streamer. I mean, I think you just get a webcam, a microphone, and install OBS, right? <laughs> Something like that. Thirteen plus eighteen, thirty-one, ninety here. Let's 
stream 12 hours a day for a year or two. <laughs> well, what are you trying to do as a strategy game streamer? If you're trying to do it as a job, uh, why? <laughs> I think why is the, <laughs> the instructive question if you're trying to do it as a job. Streaming to zero viewers feels sad. Uh, if streaming to no viewers feels bad, it might not be the right job for you. Oh, I forgot I had accuracy in play. That's why my math was wrong. Uh, you kind of need it to feel fun without the viewers. The viewers cannot really be the thing that makes it fun for you. The viewers make it worse. Uh, <laughs> the viewers are not going to make it better. <laughs> Y'all are okay. I think a lot of you recognize how much work I have done to make it so. Uh, it is fun for me to stream to an audience, though. Ask you anything, your YouTube comment got 250 likes yesterday. You basically got it figured out. What's it like, Mikey? Is this something that other people can do, or do you think, like, you're basically the only one? Mm, I guess I take hovering gates. It's fine. There's a certain viewer account where they make it better, and it's usually the account where it's your close friends watching. <laughs> trying to remember when my first, like, major conflict with a viewer was. I was definitely not averaging 20 viewers yet when I had my first major conflict with a viewer. Uh... People can actually be really predatory toward people with small viewing audiences because... Okay, so there are lots of reasons to watch small streamers. It can be a really chill vibe, it can be a good time, sometimes they are just really good streamers and they don't have much of an audience yet. Cool, awesome, great. Um, but one unfortunate reason that some people choose to watch small streamers is that they can feel more important. Like, they can be in your chat getting more of your attention than they would get if they were watching a larger streamer. And that sort of person can be an absolute nightmare to deal with. Uh, for reasons which are probably obvious, I don't feel like I have to get into them fully. I want to go to a shop, but I also kind of want the extra elite fight, but I think I'll go to a shop. I don't know. Collector. Card remove is really good. Very, very good. There you go. This is, in fact, Taylor.
You like when viewers want your attention because silent chat is boring, but it's definitely hard when someone is being socially awkward. Mm. What is my moral philosophy? I don't like mushrooms that much. They're okay. Have we not heard so many accuracies it's getting a little unreasonable? I don't think I have to spend that much money on a lantern. This card should be really important, but also this lantern's really good. So, uh, I'll take Lantern. I think at the moment, Calculated Gamble is better, but I think we rapidly reach a point where I'd rather have Lantern. Earth Macker, thanks for 11 months. Appreciate it. Slay the Spire to hype indeed. What is this meant to be? I'm going to play Die, 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 and Dagger Throw. I'm never playing Accuracy. Wait, am I playing accuracy? Doesn't look like it. Uh, there's a bot command in the channel title, Chaos and Coffee. Hmm. Okay. Where am I on hoarding a sender's main with plans versus discarding it? I don't know what that means. That means he's nascent. I think I look okay as a is. Uh, so one of the reasons why I think buying Lantern over taking Calculated Gamble makes sense is I can get offered Calculated Gamble. And I have been offered Calculated Gamble. I honestly kind of want to take Prepared over it, but I, I'm going to take Calculated Gamble. Let's be real. Okay, we're looking for a Nightmare for the Wraith Farm. That one's just the run. Or... A couple of Footworks probably win us the run. We're looking for Tactician. Some After Images win us the run. I don't think I want Blur. That's kind of what I'm getting at. I think I'm okay without it. Never play Yomi. I have not played Yomi now. Oh, sure. Some apparitions seem great. Will I die next turn? 
think it's possible. I didn't. But I came kind of close, huh? Okay, cool. Hold Wraith Farm. Okay. I'm kind of like... Oh. How do I kill them? Need a Viscerate to do more stuff. Method. We played FTL at all recently. I opened it to make a video. But for the most part now. How are the streams right after a game gets released? Uh So I feel like there are two different questions here. There's, how are the streams when a game gets released? Which the answer is like, fine, I don't know. And there's, what are the streams like when Slay the Spire 2 gets released? Which is untested. I have no idea. Hopefully fun. Yannick, thanks for the 17 months, I appreciate it. Will I ever finish the Jorbs ranks and talk about FTL ships series? Probably not. The thing with that series is I talked about the ships with obvious flaws, and then I finished talking about those ships, and it turned out that I didn't really have anything to say about the other ones. Like, I talked about the ships, which I had something I obviously wanted to say about, and then I got done with them, and then I was like, oh, well, <laughs> for the next 18 ships, I will just be saying almost exactly the same thing every time. And then I lost interest in the series. the context you're missing. I'm talking about FTL. I made a series looking at the different FTL ships and ranking them that I never finished. I launched into the breach. I got like 50 hours out of it. It was fine for 50 hours and I felt like I had finished playing it. This is just going to be the rest of the run, huh? I'm just going to be intangible until the heart dies. Hmm. Okay. Wait. Well, that is unethical. I guess I'll take a reflex.
Is that all the discard relics? It is. Back to back. Doesn't happen often. I'm wondering how much a campfire is actually worth. I don't particularly care about upgrading my apparitions. I do care about upgrading prepared and reflex. And well aid plans. That feels like enough. The thing is, like, hallway fights are very good. They give me two card rewards, and there are a good number of card rewards which are very useful for me. You're working on my birthday present, and it is cute. I'm sorry, I got a birthday present? I don't know, that was a thing. You had nightmares of 99 cents for a card remove. Oh no. Yeah, Mega Crow won't do that to us. Well, he plants plus! That feels like an example of why it's good to go to hallway fights. Another prepared. Another prepared to upgrade. I guess so. I still haven't been offered an acrobatics. Kind of weird. Can't really upgrade it. I already want to upgrade prepared and reflux. I don't have to upgrade my unupgraded well aid plans anymore now that I have an upgraded one, I don't think. Yeah, I can't really upgrade this, so I think I skip it. Your sand defect will not be enslaved this fire into you. I can't believe that they're removing all of the floors between the two shown in the screenshot. It seems like a bad design decision, right? Wait, is Alex going to be there? Wait, is Alex my birthday present? Like, I... I don't need a birthday present. <laughs> I'm good, actually. You're like if Dave Grohl was anime. I can see it. I can see it, actually. Should we play the rest of this one? I guess so. I sure won already. I'm sure there are ways to lose. Let's see if I can work out ways to lose this. Well, I only need to find one, actually. From 1 to 10, how surprised was I when I found out it was Slay the Spire 2? Uh, a little? I was not expecting Slay the Spire 2. You want to know the truth? The truest truth? Uh... There was some announcement about Mega Crit doing a fighting game. Which is real. Um, they have one of the Spire characters or two of the Spire characters or something cameoing in a fighting game. And I thought they were like working with a bunch of other indie studios on a fighting game and that was going to be the announcement. 
I read too much into it. I also... I mean, I don't know. This is not something that I stay up at night thinking about, really. I mostly just didn't care about it. Didn't think about it. Didn't think about it. Didn't care about it is the wrong thing to say. You remember when I said the devs had moved on to new projects, etc.? Well, they had. Uh, just the new project happened to be Slay the Spire again. <laughs> it's very fitting with the Spire thematically, right? Themes of Rebirth. Her fingers crossed that it's not a Darkest Dungeon 2 situation. Uh, it isn't. I, I think we already know that it isn't. You see, how many things had to happen before Reflex drew cards there? It was kind of wild. Darkest Dungeon 1 was definitely a game I enjoyed playing blind, and then once I knew what was in it, it became a lot less interesting to me personally. I don't think Alchemist does anything. I already have a duplication potion and four different cards that make intangible. I feel like it just, like, takes a card slot in my deck. I guess it is possible for me to make the Cunning Potion better. Do I want an Envenom? Maybe I want an Envenom. My damage is kind of bad. Nah. Where does the concept of Niel come from? I don't know. Let's take Runic Pyramid. That could be good here. I do have two copies of Well Laid Plans, but I think it's <laughs> it's still fine. Um, welcome to Runic Pyramid. Public was the Slayer Spire one early access community feedback wise. Uh, so Slayer Spire was an early access and you could just buy it and download it on Steam for like two years. Community feedback wise, the devs have a public Discord that they read and respond to. A lot of the way that Slayer the Spire did game balance, though was uh, data-based. So they looked at the runs people were playing and double of a rate should be. That's a lot more damage. Um, made changes to cards based on the actual runs that were being played.
There is also a Tingsha, and I'm expecting it to do more and more damage as the run goes on. High pressure from Blood Vial going off constantly. <laughs> High blood pressure was the uh, true enemy the entire time. Vatha, thanks for the 17 months. Appreciate it. Very hype. Piercing Whale isn't not a card. But it's like kind of not a card. I'll take another piercing while. Gambler's Brew is kind of. I mean, this might be better than a Ghost in a Jar. Let's see, very good potion here. I haven't gotten a Jarvisment Live notification in weeks. Weird. That is strange. What I say, Backflip allows me to take two cards from my deck and add them directly to my hand. Well, sometimes my hand does fall. So it doesn't do that then. But I guess that's the uh, dream scenario. I've been offered so many of these. I got offered like four accuracies, now I've been offered four noxious fumes. Should I take it? Clears artifact charges? I don't think it can lose me the run to take it. I'm not sure it does anything really. I don't know, my damage is really weird, but I don't think Noxious Fumes is the card that helps it. The thing that helps it is like another Calculator Gamble. Or an Acrobatics, what the fuck? Anybody seen any Acrobatics around recently? Maybe I should have taken it for a Time Meter actually. I could see that making sense. Will Slay the Spire 2 come out before Silk Song? I'm cautiously accepting of the claim that it will come out in 2025. It kind of feels like if anybody was going to know how long it took them to make Slay the Spire, it would probably be these guys, right? Hey, it's Acro. It's even already upgraded. That's real nice. All right, cool. He's a tactician. 
Another calculated gamble would be nice too. Uh, I guess this is already dead actually. Because I played Wraith Form. What a great card. What a. <laughs> great card. What frames per second do I play at? Is that a thing? I don't know if that's a real question or not. Max frame rate 60, apparently. That was not a choice that I made. That is just what that is set up. Max frame rate increases ting shop, proc speed, and multicast, among other things. Oh my gosh. Restart game. Hmm. Cool. I didn't know that. Kill this, right? Yes. <sighs> Hundred and twenty above helps with reacting a lot in this game. Makes sense. You change your settings file to have 24,000 FPS. The game animations go fast, but the actual FPS is unchanged. It's an entire thing I didn't realize existed. What if I like the slow Tingsha animations? I like that I have three apparitions in my deck, and the consequence of that is that I'm making the fight harder by trying to discard them because there's no reason to play them yet. Saved them all for next fight. Ooh, a letter in there. Ooh, a nightmare. Well. I mean, that certainly makes this even more of a foregone <laughs> conclusion than before. <laughs> Saving Apparition for Slay the Spire too. True. Might not be in that game. Casey has said on my stream. He thinks that person's a bad mechanic. Fans and shambles. There are no apparitions, fans. 
Does anybody like apparitions? Hey, Casanova! Okay, so I just need enough damage to kill things. Maybe bronze scales is already enough. We're getting kind of close to uh, bronze scales being enough. Quietly putting away your apparitions jersey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Cobalt, though. Flabagoo. Rotato has couch co-op? Yo. Is it true? It is true? Oh my. All you need is a couch? I have a couch! Already. All I need is a friend. I'm done this summer? Nice. Another well-laid plans, maybe? Uh, two card removes seem like the best thing to do with this money. Oh, I guess that one. I don't even know if it was good, honestly. I sure don't need defense. Holy well, Plans deals three damage when I discard it. like Nightmare Wraith one? Or I don't even need to. <laughs> you know how if you say a word lots of times you get to a point where you don't think it's a word anymore? Or write it or read it or whatever? Nuclear Wasted, thanks for the 47 months. I appreciate it. It's called Semantic Satiation. I think I've reached Semantic Satiation on this run of Slay the Spire. Like, just doesn't look like a run of Slay the Spire anymore. Ask questions about Slay the Spire 2. 
Ah, uh, we did that a bit at the start of the stream. There is a spreadsheet with common questions answered already. You've never felt semantic satiation. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know enough about it to know if that's unusual or not. You've also never experienced this phenomenon. Huh. Apparently there are no recorded cases of a person with congenital blindness being diagnosed with schizophrenia. This isn't entirely related to what we're talking about right now, but it made me think of it. Check out my YouTube video, Luminaire, which is linked in the bot command in the channel title. I don't actually kill this. Will Slay the Spire 2 have full animations for attacks? I actually can speak to this. Uh, I was hired by Megacrit to record the animations for the Gazelle enemy. So what we did is I went into a green room in the studio and put on a Gazelle suit and a bunch of motion capture stuff. And I just kind of pranced around like the Gazelle a lot. And... I'm sure that'll totally um, be used for the game. Because it would be really weird if they made me do that and then it wasn't in the game, right? Read the FAQ and think that Jarvis is very insistent about making sure we all know that he is definitely, absolutely, really a human. I'm sorry it would be inappropriate for me to answer that question. As a, as a real human, it would be inappropriate for me to answer that question. have exactly the right number of piercing whales and neutralizes to get terror applied to something here. Maybe terror is not actually important though. Hmm. You know, 
I think the best nightmare target is calculated gamble, not respawn. Just do this. A part of streaming that I don't like very much is when people project their ideas about how the world should work onto you. Uh, me just kind of chilling out and living as a human being. So that's probably what you're picking up on with those comments. Like, I can be really excited about a Slay the Spire announcement, right? And I was yesterday, and I still am. But at some point... At some point, like, you can't just keep being excited about a thing or your body shuts down. And so... I am not going to be able to echo your excitement about Slay the Spire when you find out about it for the first time. For the indefinite future. Felt like a thing worth saying. I like change things for 31 months. You can see through the holes in Dono's hands, which means that they are loops, not tubes. Yes. Sounds right. There's a lot of kind of bad comments in this deck. Yes. Yes, I made a YouTube video of my excitement about it, which you can watch. And that is quite deliberately thing that that video is meant to achieve is for you to see. Oh, look at that. Jorbs is excited about this thing. I mean, <laughs> it wasn't quite that logical, but I am glad that that is a thing that that YouTube video achieves. Why can't you see through the tubes? Wait, the tubes? Do you think Donu's anatomy will finally become settled science in Slay the Spire 2? They released Donu Deca plushies, actually. So we can see the actual anatomy of Donu and Deca. Both have, a, uh, you know, there are questions. Why are indie devs with big hits afraid to make more games? What? Sounds like it's a you thing. Hmm. I have a lot of potions. Oh, that also works. Mechanics that I've seen in mods over the years that I think would be cool to see in a more fleshed up form and slay the spire too. <laughs> Good question. I would frame it. <laughs> I would frame it more like I am interested to see what Casey and Anthony think. 
usually the Spire characters should look like. I guess that is how I would frame it. Like Terraria or FTL? So the thing that happened after FTL was they made a different game. So I think what you're maybe observing is that game development is a hard job. And that people who develop games uh, have lives to live. Waiting for Slay the Spire 99. Might take a while before that one releases. It is also very easy for someone to have an idea for a project and then make that project and then be like, okay, cool. I made the thing I had the idea for and then move on to like something else. Reasonable, allowed, very normal. <laughs> like when things just continue forever. It is wild to me also that Stardew Valley is still getting updates. The sense I got with that one is that the guy who makes Stardew Valley really likes making Stardew Valley. If Megacrit wanted to hire me to do balance testing, I mean, I contract at a lot more money per hour than what balance and QA testers are paid. So... It would be very strange to choose to hire me as a balance tester for something. Sometimes people do it. Maybe it's worth it. But, uh... The way you hire me to look at a game is more like you have me look at it for an hour or two and give feedback. Doesn't really make sense to you. Ask me to play the game for long enough to give reasonable and fully fleshed out balance feedback on it. It'd be a good idea to hire me to break a game. Um. I actually do have an intro. Uh, so, so the job of a balance tester isn't to try to show that a game is breakable and beatable, because strategy games are not actually, usually, balanced to be unbeatable if you are trying to min-max the ever-loving hell out of them. A job of a balance tester more generally is to make a game, like, fun for new players to play. It's very, very strange for a game to be like Slay the Spire or Long War 2, where you're actually trying to make the game hold up against somebody who is going out of their way to try to beat it as hard as possible. Should I nightmare, um, nightmare? Is it a nightmare, nightmare kind of run? <sighs> so the point of a general balance tester is not to be obvious with long war. <laughs> Correct. Correct. 
Long War 2 was an interesting choice. Wasn't that aimed at a more hardcore audience? The Long War 2 project is a long time in the past now. I can probably talk about it a bit. Um, long War 2 is a project that was attempting to, like, make it feel like you were leading and organizing a resistance against the aliens with, like, deep strategical complexity and an enemy which was somewhat hard to understand and which would do things that you weren't expecting that you had to adapt to. Uh, which means that Long War II, while intended to be difficult, was actually not really intended to be something where players were, like, privy to what was going on in the game code and exactly why things were happening. So, Long War 2 does get played that way, including by people like me. <laughs> but I'm not sure that that is actually what was intended with Long War 2. And Ascension 0 to be balanced for noobs, and Ascension 20 to be balanced for uber vets. What do I have about Noxious Fumes? Increase Noxious Fumes' win rate in the stats. Why am I still thinking? Like, I can literally do anything, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Is it kind of a calculator gamble? This seems more fun. Do you think combos and Spire are fine? Me too. I read a big Twitter thread about that once. Because I think Slay the Spire has infinites in it, but that despite that, it manages to be a pretty good game where Many other games with infinites in them end up being kind of awful because of it. I think the reasons for that are largely about the game's difficulty balance. Like, you can't just build straight toward an infinite from floor zero. But, I think that sometimes the difficulty balance of Slay the Spire gets out of whack and you actually start being able to build toward infinite on floor zero and that's really bad. I think in its current balance state, Spire is uh, really, really towing the line. Not something to demonstrate infinite feature. Uh, just make it so there are no infinites in your game, if you're going to make a demonstrate infinite feature. The entire game is based around, like, interface-wise, the game is based heavily around the idea that it is fun to click on and play the cards. So do not put a thing in it that makes people not enjoy clicking on and playing the cards. Defect will be reworked to be broken in Spire 2. More broken than already. Wow. Hard to believe. You heard it here first, though. We got the scoops here. Jorbs.tv. Did I upgrade the other Wraith farm? Yes. No. Wait, I didn't. 
Oh. I don't think it matters that much. Damage. None of that. I guess I could have played Dagger Throne. Probably I should have played Dagger Throne. Oh. Would an active time battle system be interesting with Spire? What is an active time battle system? Does that mean like a chess clock? Missed a Tingsha tough bandages around them. Honestly, so did I. <laughs> so <laughs> I missed it in two ways. One, like my brain kind of shut off when I got apparitions the next two, I think. Uh, but two, I didn't really get to play the Tingsha tough bandages thing because I have just been playing Wraith form. Not keen on the remove random card from deck mechanic. I think it's great. I also think it's the kind of mechanic that is more geared toward a player like me, and that a lot of people will not like it. Trying stuff out. It's in early development still. I have so many Wraith Forms that I get to play whatever I want. Yeah, as long as it's Wraith Form, right? <laughs> you can play really any of the four Wraith Forms in your hand, Jorbs. that Slay the Spire 2 would be more of the same. Why would there be fear about that? Let's examine that together. Why would you be afraid that Slay the Spire 2 was like the best game ever made? Why? <laughs> Doesn't that not make any sense? How do I record a thing? Oh no, my spreadsheet isn't here. Hold on. How do I make the spreadsheet here? Uh, 2024 Spire. The last run I played was 327. Two weeks ago. It has been had a little two week break. I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring. Okay. Hello. I have defeated the Spire. Uh, this run, <laughs> this run, I, I won this run around about here-ish, 
when I had Hovering Kite, Lantern, and Bronze Scales, because uh, I also had a Wraith Form Plus and three Operations and a Calculated Gamble. And I already had Well-Laid Plans, uh, yeah. And then I also, as well, um, got Tingsha and Tough Bandages and three Calculated Gambles and a Runic Pyramid. Yeah, in general, in general, not the closest run. Anyway, we'll call that a GG. from Floor Zero was actually kind of a big deal. I honestly forgot that it had happened. 